Stampers, Deb Velder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach, and today I'm going to show you how to do a beautiful card made with our Pan Pastels. Our Pan Pastels are on sale this month, September 2017, only until the end of the month. There is only a few days left in the month, so you better hurry up and get what you want. We have a whole Journey Media flyer that um, is uh, showcasing all of our sale products. These are just some of them, so I suggest if you have not finished getting your um, Pan Pastels to get them um, before the end of the month. Like I said, it's an absolutely fantastic um, sale. So let me just show you how fast and easy this holiday card is. We're going to bring in just a piece of white, Whisper White cardstock. I will bring in a piece of scrap paper so that I can um, keep my mess on the scrap paper. All right. Um, I also am going to um, use my blending brushes right here. And um, this is for my colorless blender. This one is for the pool play. This one is for the Catalina Splash. And this one is for for the denim days. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend these together. I'm going to start with the lightest co color first. Now when you're using your pan pastels, you don't want to do a lot of scraping because you don't want to use a lot of dust. Do you see how I just kind of touched it in there? And then there is not a lot of dust. When you start getting too much dust, you make way too much mess. All right. So if you find that you've got a lot of dust on your paper, just pick it up with your sponge and roll it around. Too much dust makes too much mess. All right. So you see how I'm just kind of going in circular motions. We're going to blend the next color, which is the Catalina Splash, in with this one. But do you see how I don't have a lot of dust around here? It's because I didn't pick up a lot from here. Now, let me just show you again with the Catalina Splash. I'm basically just touching this. Now, one of the questions I always get, get asked is, when these become all messy, what do I do? Throw them in your washing machine. I don't know if that says it on the directions, but I do it all the time, and they are still um, in one piece. These are thrown in the wash. I don't throw them in the dryer, but I do throw them in the washing machine with a load of dark towels and um, the towels come out clean and so do the, uh, the sponges. All right. So the next one that I'm going to do is my Catalina Splash. And again, if you've got a lot of dust on here like this, you want to make sure that you just rub it in. All right. You don't want a lot of dust. You just don't want a lot of dust because you're going to make a whole lot of mess. All right. So I'm just going to do a third of this color, which is the Catalina Splash. All right. And then the next color that I'm going to use is my Denim Days. And um, that is going to be my darkest color. It's going to go down there at the bottom. All right. Again, not using a lot of your dust. All right. There we go. Pick up what you have and work it into your, into your project. All right. So there's my three colors. All right, those are my three blues. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work some magic and um, I'm going to take and use my colorless blender. A lot of people ask what this is for. There's a couple of uses that I've found that you can use it for. Um, one of them is when you're going to emboss something. If you take your colorless blender and you just rub it across the piece where you're going to emboss before you use your ink and before you use your powder, it acts like a, a dusty powder so that no embossing powder gets where it needs not to be. All right, does that make sense? So if you take this and you rub it onto your um, cardstock, and then you take your stamp and you stamp it down, put your embossing powder on, you're good to go. Then at the very end, just take a little rag, maybe something like this, and then just dust it off. All right, so that's all you have to do. Now what this I'm doing with this one is, is what it's meant for. It's to blend these colors together. Do you see how they just kind of give you some really sharp, nasty little lines right there? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna work from my lighter up, my lighter down, I should say, all right? And all I'm doing is just blending these two pieces together. Look at that. Do you see the difference between that piece and that piece right there? I'm just taking and blending the two colors together. You see, look at how soft that is now. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? All right, we're gonna do the same thing with this one right here. We're gonna go from the light to the dark and just kind of blend downward and just blend the two of them together. So my suggestion to you is, if you have the pan pastels, you really probably might want to, maybe you should, um, invest in the colorless blender. It looks like it's a white, but it's not. And if you tried to use white on this, the problem would be that you would change colors. This is not changing the color of this at all. 
All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my stamping. When you go to do your stamping on this, um, you really wanna make sure you have a well um, inked stamp pad. And I don't ink my stamps very often, but for this one, I will add um, a re-inker to it just because um, I wanna make sure that it covers all of the, uh, the uh, pan pastel. So now what I'm gonna do is just stamp my words. All right, and then I'm gonna ink up this little guy right here. And I'm not gonna use the whole thing. Um, I'm only gonna use part of it, but I will ink it up because I don't know how far I have to go over. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center this in between the two colors and we'll be good to go. There we go. Isn't that absolutely exquisite? All righty, so now we are almost done with our card. And what I'm going to do is to just add my Easy Glide, because this is just a very flat card. I'm just going to add my Easy Glide to this, add it to my layer. Now, my layer is only an eighth of an inch um, bigger than the, this uh, whipped cream card. And the reason for that is I just wanted a hint of black to pick up um, the colors right here. All right, so I just wanted it to pick up um, what I accented and stamped with. All right, so now the next thing that I need to do is to add it to my base card. All right, let me just wipe my hands here, and we're going to do our base card. Now, when I am doing a card with pan pastels that's this big, I did recently a fall card, and there wasn't a lot of pan pastel on there, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't spray it, but when I have... Um, something that's as big as this, what I will do is I will spray my card. So I just get some inexpensive um, hairspray. I like the traveling kind um, in my stamp room because it's easy to, to access. And then I just spray it and it just dries and the, the pastel doesn't come off on you. All right, and that's all there is to this. It dries just beautiful. Now with this one right here, I used the Bethlehem Journey stamp set, and in doing so, um, I used, on one of the cards here, I used this little star. I stamped it on the back of my mirror paper, and I cut it out so that you couldn't see the lines, and this is what it looks like. All right, so that was just a little different take on these two right here. You'll see that this is all dry, all the um, all of the uh, hairspray is dry, you know, um, and we're good to go. I hope you enjoyed my post today. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. You take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.